it's no understatement to say that Britain's police services have a huge image problem. This is not helped, perhaps, by the way they communicate. This news article I'm about to share from the BBC should indicate some of the problems with that. This is the mother of one of the victims of the Nottingham attack, uh, where she's condemning an abhorrent police message. Um, the mother of Nottingham attack victims, Barnby Webber, has written an open letter criticising Nottinghamshire police after one of its officers wrote a graphic post about the killings. Um, Emma Webber told the BBC the content of a message shared on a forced WhatsApp group was abhorrent. Miss Webber and Grace and Marley Kumar, both 19, and 65-year-old Ian Coates were stabbed to death on the 30th of June 2023. If I go down further, the message, or oh, one of them at least, I think she was addressing more than one, when you say a couple of students have been proper butchered, did you say to stop to think about the absolute terror that they felt to the moment they were ambushed and repeatedly stabbed by a man who had planned his attack and lay waiting in the shadows for them? Now, I don't know if the police officer who wrote that actually meant to be offensive, but it's not exactly the greatest tone or style to write a message like that. A couple of stu students have been proper butchered. One, the English is appalling and it speaks to uh, it, other issues of education. Two, it's not the kind of thing you'd expect people to be commenting on in that style in a WhatsApp group. The police need to realise that how they comment and the style they do so on social media will follow them around, that this sort of stuff is semi-permanent, that it's very hard to wipe it out nowadays and that it can be pulled from archives and it will drift around and follow them. And if you've got police officers coming out with remarks like, when you say a couple of students have been proper butchered, it doesn't exactly look good. It doesn't exactly create a, a great PR image. Um, it's not exactly going to be a glowing recommendation for the force or act as a great recruitment tool if you want to attract new recruits either. When you've got a, a woman like that who's still probably in deep shock and mourning... We have the issue as well at the minute where we've got the Met Police sort of um, over the issue of sort of the openly Jewish comment. Now, in fact, on that one, I actually understand that the officer was probably just frustrated and didn't probably just uh, clumsy. That was just a clunky way to say what he actually meant. But it wasn't the wisest moment. And Gideon Falter, who did it, does have a habit of trying to wind people up and being provocative. If you look him up, it's not his first go round. However, he did have a point as well. If Palestinian um, protesters have a right to walk through London, so should he. I will agree with that. There shouldn't be any special place that he as a Jew cannot walk in London. If he does have a habit of winding up people, sometimes being an agent provocateur is is required to point out such oddness in society. Um, but the, the police, as they stand, really do seem to have a total image problem here, and really do, in Britain, uh, and really do need to look at how they're perceived by the public. I no longer impose a great deal of trust in them, and I'm far, far to the left. It's the idea of calling out the police and whether they'd even come out in Hackney for anything is debatable you see endless shoplifting in this area and police officers come out like rarely because it's just considered nuisance trivial crimes uh, it's time basically for some reforms some training and uh, i would suspect sending some officers to school for um, learning how to type remarks that reflect sensitive situations with some style and decorum